Jerry Dominguez said that you've been here every day in practice, starting with OTA general just today. As a head coach, he really appreciates that. Why was it so important to be here in day one with his coaching staff? You know, you got to instill great practice habits. That's the first thing you got to do if you want to be a winning organization or just winning at anything. You got to be able to come to work consistently and you got to be able to work at whatever to uh, coaching techniques, whatever skills that uh, coaches are kind of giving you. It's got to be something that you got to take from the classroom to the field. And I try to show that with the young guys. It doesn't matter how old you are, what year you're kind of coming into this business. You're always here to just work your craft and get better. And that's what we're trying to do is just find the ways to just improve each day. What do you know is you break it down to me? Uh, just how vocal everyone is. He's got everybody on the same page. Young guys who have seen this defense for the first time to, you know, older vets like myself, or this is year 14, but we're still kind of learning the uh, terminology. It's just the way that we're all to communicate, and then you see it's just on the field one step faster. Guys are breaking on the ball, huddle around the ball, punch outs, doing smart things. That's just going to help us be a uh, winning defense, and that's what you like to see. Jerry, you mentioned your Jerry. Sorry, just to follow up on that. I mean, you mentioned your tenure. You kind of brought a lot of defense. What, how would you describe it in terms of what you're uh, kind of used to, or like what jumps off the page of you? Just how fast everyone's playing, how we're able to react to the offense. Everyone's taking coaching so well. When you got a player's head coach who's able to kind of break it down for us to understand it, you just can see it from Petrie down to Will, just how quick these guys are picking it up. They're not afraid to be vocal because they're confident. And when you can kind of build up a young player's confidence early on, you really start to unlock them at an early age. And that's just great that he's able to kind of tap into that. Coming into the season, the secondary was the highlight of this defense. You guys were able to make some great plays out there on the defensive line. How good can this D-line be coming up this year? You know, for us, the sky's the limit. One thing that we always try to focus on is just taking coaching and trying to take that out to the uh, practice field. And I can see it in the way guys come out here early, willing to uh, practice in this heat. So when you got guys showing up 30, 45 minutes for, before we actually warm up and get it going, that just shows you to, to, to how we're going to work this year, how we're trying to improve to uh, get better. And we know our secondary was phenomenal last year. We want to equalize that pressure up front and, and take some of that pressure off them so they can – break and be uh, quicker to the football. And I think we've been talking about it all offseason. It's great that guys came back in shape and they understand that we got that one goal in mind. Jerry, what are your impressions of Will Anderson Jr. just as a rookie that seems like he's always wants to be out there and loves the game? I mean, just it's great to once have someone who's just eager to be out there on the field early. And then two, I mean, he has that Von Miller uh, ability, just how great he is with his hands. He's uh, he's already fast, and he's able to kind of set up some of his rushes off of his speed already so that he's able to kind of understand that game is going to be tremendous for us. And then how he's just picking up our defense, picking up the s small things of how to attack the ball as a defense alignment. You know, we always emphasize turnovers. That's going to really help us be uh, the uh, defense that we want to be. And you see a lot of our young guys pick picking up on that, especially Will. And that's what you want to see, especially up front. There's just someone who can uh, – slow down the game, but then also utilize his God-given ability and then put some uh, technique to that as well. So how, how can you help him do that from your plan attack on the other side? Uh, for me, just always constantly in his ear. You know, just every little thing that I see in his game, I, you know, I'm constantly chirping at him, helping him to kind of get better, even if it's off the field, how to just take care of your body, you know, when we have off days, things like that, so you can kind of stay available um, to the team. I think that's the most important thing that I can kind of bring to these guys is, you know, 14 years in, but always being able to be available so you can be out there on the field making plays. That's going to be one of the uh, key components. I said with Dylan, it's just great to, to see him out there just eager listening, taking notes, and you, you can see him trying everything that the uh, coaches are just putting in front of him, and that's what you want in young players, people who are coachable because they're all so raw. they got a lot of God-given ability. It's now can they take what we're saying in the classroom and bring it out here on the field, and it's been great to see him use his length and hands and kind of be successful at that, and it's going to be a uh, fun camp just watching those guys just go back and just peel their ears back and just go hunt. I mean, for us, we're up here. We're, we're here to set edges. We're here to let uh, our back end know that the ball's not going to get outside of us. We want to uh, instill that confidence in them early on so that, that way they don't have to play side to side and they can come downhill and 
make tackles. And I think Coach D'Amico has made that clear, and you can see it's just constantly improving in that area. And that's what we want to be, just a fast, physical defense. I would just have to say the, the more emphasis on technique. Now that we got uh, Coach D'Amico here, the emphasis for us up front has just really been on technique, how to get off of certain blocks, how to just use our hands a lot more, and then we're also keying the ball. He wants to be top in uh, turnovers, and that's one of the things that you know we have high on our list is being able to just take the ball away from the offense. To help our team out, we got to be able to uh, do that and be successful on third down. So those have been our big emphasis. Thank you. Yep.